Hey everybody, this is Coach Nate McBride with the BladeFit Academy and I'm very proud of our new website and I just wanted to take a moment and share with you what it is, who we are, what we do, and what we can offer your family. Uh, first off, I wanted to show you the classes page, what we offer. So we offer sword classes for youth, adults, and for kids. So firstly, firstly I wanted to show you what this is here, Modern Sword Fighting. What is Modern Sword Fighting? Modern Sword Fighting is part of an international organization that is um, that teaches the, the sword arts. <laughs> um, but it does it in a unique way. So we have these, these uh, soft swords here. They're called sports swords. And we have armor. And the armor is also soft. Uh, and in this way, we have a very high safety margin. And so we can instruct... Um, younger students uh, in in the sword arts safely and in a way that it's engaging and fun uh, we can do team sports we could go one-on-one -on -one, uh, we could play games we could do all kinds of things and within the organization we have set rules in our competitions that we hold um, and every year we go to eastern europe and we uh, compete in the the world's uh, championship so there is um, there are tournaments that uh, people can compete in modern sword fighting under those rules. Um, so really briefly, what we teach here in our classes, Sword and Shield, uh, it's really, really fun. It's our bread and butter. Uh, new students really enjoy the fact that they've got a shield that they can sort of hide behind and, and really, really try and figure out what their strategy is going to be moving forward. So yeah, they can really appreciate that shield. We assumed, in, now in some of these, uh, we assumed armored combat and some of these we assumed unarmored combat and in that way we get the classic fencing uh, instruction but then we also get instruction in armor so sword and shield is we assumed armored so what that means is the the hits are cumulative within a timed round like boxing or MMA um, and something like buckler and shashka shashka is, uh, is basically a Russian saber uh, with no hand protection. In this, it is more like Olympic fencing. So it's to the first strike. Uh, once there is a strike, then there is a separation, and we go again. Uh, and it, again, it is to 10 points. Um, buckler and sword, it's, these swords are more straight. Uh, it's, it's very similar to buckler and shashka, but it is continuous. Uh, saber, very, very excellent fundamental a system that we do teach. Uh, and this is something that carries over to all other sword disciplines. Um, saber is one of my very favorite uh, to teach. I enjoy doing saber myself, and it is considered uh, unarmored. Uh, but again, we do wear our safety gear. Uh, Eastern saber and shield is very very fun. It's it's it is a mix. Um, in certain places, if there is a thrust that connects, you win that bout uh, outright. Uh, but it is also cumulative if you know slashes are cumulative right so if you can avoid getting a thrust upon you and you are accumulating the slashes against your opponent um, you've got one minute and ten points that you got us that you got a score of course you're also looking for that slash um, it's fun it's dynamic what could I say it's it's extremely dynamic uh, parents uh, again are very welcome to put on the armor and uh, and to join their kids um, so we, we go Tuesday, Thursdays, and four uh, seasons where we are practicing for a tournament. We also have Saturday morning practice. Uh, you don't have to go to all three of them. You could go to some of them. Tuesday is our game day where we have um, a, lot of, a lot of team dynamics going on. It's a perfect time for parents to put on the armor and, and, and join the kids. It's, it's really, really fun. Thursdays is more didactic. We separate. We do more one-on-one -on -one practice. We really... Uh, drill down on on the fundamentals, uh, footwork, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And Saturday is dedicated for sparring and for training. You know those last uh, minute tweaking for the tournaments. Now our HEMA schedule is Thursdays and Saturdays, and um, a little similar approach. But of course, we have to treat adults a little bit differently. We understand that. And so for adults, it's more um, in, taught in the traditional HEMA style, historic European martial art. So for beginners, we 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 start with the stick fighting. There's a direct correlation between this stick fighting and the broadsword and saber that we do teach. Um, we also teach German log sword. Now the really uh, interesting thing is uh, this the stick fighting uh, in the saber mode is so uh, so fun and it's been such a big hit that actually 
Um, we've re-examined the way that we teach longsword, and we have added a stick component um, that more approximates a longsword uh, as opposed to saber. Um, and and it's great. And the reason why we do stick fighting at the beginning is because right off the bat, you don't need as much safety gear to get involved and uh, to do you know some light sparring, some some light drilling, and uh, it's 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 very pleasant. It's just it's just better. I can't explain it other than that. It's a lot of fun. You learn the fundamentals. The sticks aren't so heavy, and so you can focus on your form. You can build up your muscle strength. And then um, when you are getting ahead of yourself, when you're learning, when you're learning the balance and, and you're, you're, you're at that point, then you could go get yourself a steel sword, uh, you know, accumulate your safety gear, and then we can go ahead and, and uh, ratchet it up um, with the sword excuse me, with the broadsword and saber and with German longsword. Now we teach these congruently as well uh, for, for reasons that I, I mentioned with the saber before and the MSF. Um, saber is a very powerful discipline and it's, it's, um, it's, it's essential in, in the movements. It's, it's, um, I don't want to call it simplistic, but it's, it's boiled down to the essential movements. And that's why I like it so much. And so when you master some of the aspects of saber, then all of a sudden some of the things make more sense that they're trying to teach in long swords, you know, the original masters, the things that they were trying to teach. It just makes more sense to you. And so you become a better long sword fighter as you practice saber. It's just one of those things. Anyway, guys, um, that was just a little sneak peek. Let's see, is there something else I wanted to show you here? Yeah, let's show you this really quick. So right here is our victory patch award um, for any sanctioned duel that's that's within our organization or if you're part of our club and you go somewhere else and uh, you, you score a couple victories, you know, just give us some proof and uh, Bam, you get this. We're all about victories. So, you know, this is a great way for kids to to uh, get into sports. Um, you know, especially a lot of kids, they, they just don't click with uh, certain sports, um, but, you know, they need something athletic to do. This just might be right up their alley. It's a great way to engage the mind and the body. You really have to be thinking fast. Um, you know, for kids who like to question coaches, I don't mind questions. That's how we learn. It's just my coaching style. So I really appreciate kids who do have a lot of questions. And I know from personal experience, I've had coaches as a kid who would never, never accept that. But, um, you know, with swords, it's a little bit different. There's, there's uh, a lot of technique involved. And so there's a lot of questions. Uh, that go along with that. I'm very happy to to answer those questions uh, as we go along in class. Anyway, guys, uh, that's all I got. Uh, be sure to visit our website yourself. That is bladefitacademy.com. I sure do appreciate your time that you've spent with us. Uh, we are located in Vancouver, Washington. So anyone in the Washougal, Camas area, uh, Battleground, that sort of thing, Richfield, uh, come on, come on down, guys. Um, you won't be disappointed. We'd love to meet you. And for those of you who are south of the river, you guys are welcome too. Portland Metro, don't be strangers. Come on up. Uh, we've got two amazing bridges, and we'd love to have you. Um, yeah, we'd love to meet you. So come check us out. And um, if you like what you see, if your kids like the activity, why, you know, we can discuss something a little bit more long term. But just try it out first, and let's see. Um, I think you're really, really going to enjoy it. All right, guys, with that, again, this is Nate with the Blade Fit Academy. I will catch you later, and remember to always slay your demons. Take care.